Alright guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How you guys doing? Dundas? My name is David Hammond. I'm part of a church called GNBC. You guys can search it up on YouTube. It's called GNBC Online. It is the most absolute fire Christian street preaching channel you will find. Guys, I truly believe, and I think you know too, that we are in the end days. Three quarters of the biblical prophecies end times have already been completed. The market, the, the beast is coming out soon. You guys know this. This is not crazy out there already. People can pay with stuff with their hand. It's in China and it's gonna be coming here, but that's not why I'm here guys to preach. I wanna make this very clear. God says in the Bible that his law is in all of our hearts. Every single one of you guys here has a consciousness and every single one of you knows that there is a God. You see, the Bible says that we suppress the truth with unrighteousness, meaning we all know there's a God, but the way we convince ourselves that there's not a God is by living in sin. Now guys, all of us have fallen short, myself, you, in the Bible, in 1 John 1, 8, it says, if anyone says he's without sin, then he's a liar, the truth is not in him. Now here, I'm gonna give you guys a crash course on Christ. Jesus, and there's historical records of him, over 500 eyewitnesses and 25,000 manuscripts confirming his life, death, and resurrection. This was confirmed through the Dead Sea Scrolls found in the 40s. This is a historical fact, this is not a myth, this is not made up, this is not a fairy tale. Now how we accept Christ is he was the only man who walked this earth Earth, completely sinless he didn't sin once now let me ask you a question have you lied I've lied have you ever stolen something candy yeah definitely as a kid we all have that means you are a thief and a liar by default we've all sinned right Unfortunately, none of us are born perfect. Because Christ was the only individual who ever walked this earth sinless, and yes, there is historical proof on this. People were willing to die to confirm this. This is not a fairy tale, this is a fact. Because he fulfilled that law, he now gives us the ability to enter heaven with our sinful nature as long as we follow him. In Romans 10, 9, all it says is you must confess with your mouth that Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. Guys, Christianity built our entire society, it built the West, the backbones that you and I are standing on. So for you to say that, oh, I'm not a Christian, God's not real, is a complete lie, you're being a hypocrite. Everything you're standing on was built by Christian men, built by Christian values. So this idea that God's not real, that it's a fairy tale, it's fake, why don't you go move somewhere else into a different country and say that? You're not able to. The fact that we have freedoms here, the law... Exactly. The West, Europe, Canada, and the US. Thank you for clarifying that. Go move to the Middle East. Try saying this. Go move to China. This is what's going to happen if you guys continue to den deny Christ. Everywhere on the media, movies, music, TikTok, all these influencers, they're anti-what? They're not anti-Islam. They're not anti-Hinduism, they're not anti-Judaism, they're anti-Christ. Why do you think that is? Christ is the only one who walked this earth sinless. And every single one of you guys know that there is a God. You can feel it. But again, like I said, we suppress the truth with our unrighteousness. All of us are sinners, myself, you. All of us are the same. And if you do not take on the blood of Christ, I'm afraid, my friend, when he comes back, he will say, depart from me, I never knew you. Christ loves all of you. If you guys want to become born again, it's as simple as this. In Romans 10, 9, it says, all you need to do is confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You know, I'll give you guys my testimony real quick. I was in a relationship just like you guys, fornicating, living in the world, smoking, drinking, fapping, watching degenerate TikTokers, everything, which is again, anti-Christ. And from that, my girlfriend, thank God, you know, at the time I was a little upset, but she broke up with me. I thought I was gonna marry this woman. I was with her for five years. And from that point, I was very vulnerable. You guys understand? The chief sin is pride. That's why Satan fell from heaven. It wasn't really anything else, it was pride. When we become prideful, right? Every other sin is then accentuated. Once I got humbled, God knocked my legs and he said, all right, I then turned to him. And whether I knew it or not, I looked out my window and I said that exact prayer, God, I have a feeling, because every single one of us believes in God, I have a feeling that you want me to follow this path, find you, but I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to do this. Please guide me. I kid you guys not, from that moment on, I started to find Christian YouTubers, individuals met me in my life. I started having conversations. I met an amazing pastor in a church here, and it all happened organically. But that's because I first humbled myself. If I did not humble myself, and I was prideful like everybody. This is what's glorified through movies, TikTok, social media. Get a bigger butt, bigger boobs. Guys, you know, flex your cars more, more money, more Bugattis. This is all sin. 
Why do you think in the Bible it says that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom? That's because that dude's not going to give up his possessions. Andrew Tate and all these guys, the red pill, they're going to lead you guys down a very dark hole. And that's simply because it is anti-Christ. So again, I want to make this very clear for the third and final time. Every single one of us here has God's law written in our heart. We all know that there is a God. And we deny the truth by suppressing it with our unrighteousness. All you guys need to do is go home, close your door. I know it's hard because we're trying to impress all of our friends and social media and TikTok, which none of them care about us at all. It's a Chinese app, literally. You can, I mean, you search the, the idea of that. What they show you in China compared to here is completely different, which already in and of itself says a lot, but I won't go down that rabbit hole. Keep it biblical, as Pastor says. <laughs> all you guys need to do is just submit yourselves before the Lord. And again, Romans 10, 9, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, all right? and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. I know guys that it's very hard to believe this because our society now is anti-Christ. Guys, this did not happen by accident. The reason they don't teach you this in schools, the reason everything on TV is the exact opposite has been a program. But again, I need to say that God's law is written in your heart. We have a consciousness. We know right from wrong intuitively, inherently. We know when we're doing something wrong. That goes to show that there was a creator. Otherwise, we'd all be just killing each other. But we don't. No other religion. And you know what? Let's talk about that real quick. Christ is not a religion. Okay? A lot of you guys had a bad taste in your mouth. Or maybe when you were a kid, you went to church. I, I sure know I did. I went to church a couple times, some lukewarm, lukewarm, effeminate church. Maybe you guys are born into like a Catholic church, completely corrupt. That is not what following Christ is. Christ is a relationship. It has nothing to do with man-made church. It's Christianity, not churchianity. So again, guys, please give this another go. I know a lot of young guys right now, I'm 25 and I coach a lot of young guys. You can feel this bubbling up within you. I know I've talked to so many atheists, I've talked to Muslims, and they're getting dreams of Christ. They're getting dreams of Jesus. He's coming back soon and everybody deep down knows this. It is not about you going to a church. It's not about you saying a certain prayer or counting rosary beads. It's about you submitting yourself, dropping your pride, and just give Christ a shot. Just ask him to reveal himself to you. And just watch, you have nothing to lose because the wages of sin is death. And without Christ, we are all dying, including myself. And I'll tell you guys, as a young man, I have never felt more secure, more grounded, and more base than ever before than submitting myself to Christ. And I will never go back into that degenerate, anti-Christ world that everything promotes. If they're all promoting to go left, well then maybe you should go right. All right, God bless. This is said with love, guys. Romans 10, 9, amen, peace. That's pretty good, eh? And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog on the David Hammond YouTube channel. Guys, I'll be brutally honest with you. Ever since the last vlog, I didn't know if I'd ever be saying this again, guys. I truly believe I hung up the skates. I was done vlogging. That was it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check the last video up there. And if I look a little tired, guys, it's because it's quite late. And you just saw those street preaching clips. We were downtown for quite a minute, guys. So today is actually supposed to be my rest day or my off day. But I'm just making today my work day. Yesterday, Sunday. You guys do know to fill you up to speed that we are working full time and that's actually like I said go watch the last vlog but that's why I thought I was done with vlogging obviously I still have the business self-develop growing that reels YouTube I have I have clients still uh, but it wasn't enough guys it wasn't paying all the bills being in the condo where I live here in Canada it is <laughs> ridiculously expensive I'm just outside Toronto so uh, I had to go work full-time guys which I am doing now it's been probably I'll be honest maybe two months since I've logged last right now it is and by the way I don't don't normally work out this late. It's just because today's my off day. Got a little uh, behind. It's 11.07, hashtag guts berserk, let's go. So it's, uh, sorry, November 6th, and that's actually my buddy Luke, who you guys see, uh, your, your preaching was fire today. Today was epic, that's awesome. If you guys watch the GMBC channel, it's Pastor Luke and myself. They're the ones I look up to. And I street preach today. Honestly, guys, there's a lot going on. So I haven't vlogged in about two months. The last vlog was actually from about a month and a half to two months ago. I just posted it today this vlog's probably coming out a week from now so mid-november it's been a while guys let's update you but before we update you 
Let's first hit a leg day because it's getting quite late. Again, like I told you guys, now that I'm working full time, I actually work out before work, so usually around 12 o'clock, like in the afternoon. It's 11 o'clock, almost 12. I should be in bed in about an hour and a half, so let's go hit legs. Thankfully, I just came off a deload week, so it's nothing too crazy. That's actually part of the reason I did come right now. I think I have a set of four at like six and a half, you know, so it's a relatively light. It's actually week one of the new block I was on a deload last week. Uh, we'll hit some uh, hack squad guys, a little bit of calves, super simple. Then we'll get you on the tribe. I'll update you all with the street preaching, what's been going on with the job, with working full time, managing the business, where I see this channel going, updates with everything, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll get it going. So, with that, let's go. Brought the little light, set you up on the tripod, get some squats, a little bit of hack squat. You guys know the deal. And get this going. Let's grind. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Day. Excuse the squeaky table. Do you guys remember that from when I used to record here on Self Developed a little while back, maybe like a year ago? Well, it's still squeaky, but we're not recording here. Anyways, guys, excuse the tired eyes. It's still relatively early, maybe 11:30 in the morning, which to some of you guys may not seem that early. But I get back home at almost 12 o'clock. I have maybe an hour to chill, and then it is bedtime. I gotta wake up, run the business. We got powerlifting. Gonna head to the gym in about half an hour, and then we start our shift again. So it's actually two days later, guys. I meant to record this yesterday, but it was just go time, guys. My day is extremely limited as far as time goes uh, now that I'm balancing this job. I dream of the days, and it will come soon, guys. This is just a chapter in the story of the time where I don't have to work this job, and I have all the time to just really full send every entrepreneurial thing I'm doing again, but at the moment, finances and clients are not as high as they used to be. I am very grateful for the base clients I do have, but of course, speaking of Christ, guys, it's just not going to be everyone's cup of tea, which is completely fine. I'm in my growing season. Anyways, guys, like I said, two days later, gonna wrap up this vlog here with just an update on uh, the direction of this channel, kind of where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so sit back, guys. So as you guys know, it's pretty evident now that we are a full-time Christ follower. You know, I found the church, I go street preaching with them, and let's talk about that. Uh, you guys know that I found this church super based. It's me, Luke, and Pastor, usually us three that go out, and another guy named Jay. And uh, I've been their cameraman more or less full-time. I'm also managing that YouTube channel, so uh, doing the editing, the uploading with that. So I'm essentially working like two and a half jobs, guys. That's, that's what it feels like, which is ridiculous, but I need it. And the past two months or so, I was just absorbing. I was just watching them. Of course, I wanted to street preach, guys, but I guess I just didn't feel ready enough. I didn't know enough. I didn't, you know, I just, I just wasn't ready. It's simple as that. It's pretty hostile and it's pretty intense when they do it. So I just wanted to see how they react when people come up to them, when they get angry or, or you know, when they maybe don't know what to say and how they recover. They all pretty much always know what to say or maybe the verses, just their style. And yesterday or two days ago, I told pastor, I was like, hey, uh, I think I'm ready. I wanna start street preaching. It's been around two and a half months, me absorbing and watching them. So he was like, yeah, man, you know, if you're ready, let's do it. And I just let it rip. Now, obviously I'm not uh, the same levels than by any means. They are much more script, scripturally, scripturally, uh, adept, you know, they know the Bible like the back of their hand. I don't. I'm, I'm really a beginner, guys. I'm a brand new Christian. I've been following Christ for maybe two years. But the one thing I, I can do and I, and I recommend to you guys, because this is still my vlog lifestyle channel, is to just send it. You know, I probably out of the church know the least on the Bible out of everyone at the, you know, actual church, maybe like 20 people. But, you know, I'm usually one of the first people to just start with where I'm at, you know, even with as little as I know, and just, just jump in the deep end and just learn as I go. Whether that's with YouTube, entrepreneurship, powerlifting, street preaching, and I surprised myself uh, when I did it a couple days ago, like, things just flow, guys, and this is a little testimony to you guys. Just start, you know, God really favors the bold, and what I notice is he meets you halfway. Yes, it's unknown, like, when Luke was almost done, and I knew, I knew, because I told him I wanted to go, and I could have, 
I could have backed down. I could have been like, nah, you know, it's okay. Uh, I felt my heart start to race like, oh, my time's coming up. You know, it's like you're about to have a big speech in front of people. You know, my mind started racing like, oh, you're going to forget the verses. You know, what verse are you going to say? Like, they know way more. And I was like, and I just, I knew intuitively just, nope, shut off the mind. I'm not even going to listen. I'm just going to speak. I'm just going to let it rip when it comes. And the Holy Spirit, guys, I've street preached a few times now. That was my first real time. It just comes about, man. I kid you not, guys. I wasn't even thinking. You're just in the zone. Right, you're in flow state, and I, I don't say that in some like new age hippie way, but you're really just there. And I, I truly believe God speaks through you. You know, of course, you're still gonna make mistakes and fumble and stuff, but you know, I wasn't even aware of the people around me. They told me after I got some like, I don't know, weird looks from some girls. I, I didn't even notice. I had no clue. You're just in the zone, and it's such a beautiful thing. You know, and I really feel like I'm able to just exude my masculinity and exude just David. You know, everything I think of my. You guys notice that I integrate a lot of culture in there, kind of conspiracy stuff, um, you know, the practicalities, I speak of like other religions, I just like integrate everything into it, and it's almost kind of like your your art piece, like your craft, it's like everything I think in my head, I just like, it's like, alright, go, you got 10 minutes to spit it, and you know, in front of people, and you gotta, you know, you don't want to fumble it. So I definitely recommend it guys. And now moving forward, I believe with this channel, of course, it's still going to be a vlog channel. You know, I've, I've built this, I've been vlogging for like, I think seven years now. It's been through so many renditions, so many different styles as you guys know. But I think moving forwards guys, I'm simply just going to keep this a street preaching channel. Now, of course, when I say this guys, I'm still vlogging. Still going to be incorporating powerlifting, but I want the main focus. And you guys haven't seen my content in a minute, eh? I don't, this, <laughs> I don't really show too much stuff here. In fact, some posters fell down. This is what happens when you don't have a girlfriend. When you have a girlfriend, they, you know, kind of make it homey. I, I just live, I just view it as like four white walls. I wake up, I do my work, go to bed. But guys, I want the main focus of this channel, of course, to be around Christ, uh, leading souls to, to, to heaven, essentially, guys, and really everything that entails with that. You know, a lot of people may think that Christ is just like this big hippie, oh, you know, whatever. But I actually found that it integrates and ties everything that the modern man needs, masculinity, courage, discipline, foresight, to be able to see geopolitically what's going on in the world. It's everything, guys, and that's why I really want to document here. I just want to keep that the main focus. And I think street preaching as they go once a week, it's a perfect opportunity for me to have a vlog once a week and then give you guys my life update in a very practical sense as well. As I have not changed guys, uh, we're just moving forward as men. That, that's really the only difference. So that is that guys. I'm going to finish this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you guys think below, uh, what comments, what suggestions. And uh, I'm excited, man, for this to keep going. We will be traveling in the future, podcasts, all that guys. Don't you worry. I'm still going to be documenting that here as well as our street preaching and uh, just all globally that's really the goal as I learned the word so thank you guys if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll finish it here with the one final plug guys as always there is one-on-one -on -one coaching to men who want to further learn the word become biblically masculine improve their relationships fitness mindset and business and truly become a man worthy of gaining respect there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching guys I love speaking to the dedicated men who are willing to take this path which I understand is not going to be the most comfortable. It's not the most popular thing that everybody does out there. But if you're feeling called to really move forward and endure, then guys, spots are open. I love speaking with you. You can support Edge coupon code. I have no clue. It keeps getting corrupted. Maybe it's Hammond or developed. It'll probably change. But the link is below. Let's just say that. And you can support. So thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Till next video. We'll see you with the Street Preaching Squad. Much love. Peace.